वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई सर डॉक्टर कुमारी वंदना एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रजेंट अ मॉड्यूल अंडर अ पेपर नंबर थ्री द टॉपिक ऑफ द पेपर इज थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ऑफ लिविंग सिस्टम एंड बायो एनर्जेटिक्स दिस इज मॉड्यूल नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रकृति इन आयुर्वेदा लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक with its uh, broad objectives the broad objectives of this module are introduction then prakriti in uh, ayurveda then features of different prakriti then applied aspect of prakriti and lastly the summary of the whole module in ayurveda which is the systematized traditional healthcare system in it the empirical knowledge is derived from long term studies which is based on observations of natural phenomena and it forms the basis of treatment of ayurveda this knowledge is timeless and unbounded as a result it has retained its relevance over centuries in india ayurvedic thoughts and methods have had deep impact on all realm of life of people which is reflected in day to day practices like use of medicinal ingredients in traditional cushion indian lifestyle and in the form of religious rituals and culture before going on to the topic let us revise what we have learned in the previous module the goal of the ayurveda is maintenance of health in healthy individual and elevation of disorder in diseased individual ayurveda is distinctly different from the biomedicine as it does not adopt structural view rather than it considers life as a complex interrelationship of tridosha that is the vata pitta and kapha and it adopts distinct approach in dealing with the human body in an integrated and holistic way ayurveda defines health as a state of physical psychological social and spiritual well-being the basic tenets of ayurveda is that man is the epitome of the universe it is based on a theory of panch mahabhut the five basic elements that are the space air fire water and earth and three dosha which are present in each and every cell of the body along with the mind and the spirit in healthy state the three doshas are in equilibrium in the body the three the try in the three dosha theory of ayurveda offers a practical method to sustain the relation between individual and the universe the three doshas are interrelated to each other and forms a complex functional network for maintaining homeostasis consciousness is an is an integral part of health in ayurveda and its complete balance of body mind and soul is defined as health in light of uh, modern sciences based on the most re recent understanding of ayurvedic concept the three dosha theory doshas are considered to be concerned with organism regulation involving the uh, input or output the turnover and the storage which are the three important parts of a system according to this understanding doshas are universal bio entities regulating functions identified as fundamental by systems theory that uh, the input and the output is concerned with the vata throughput or turnover is concerned with the pitta and the storage is a function of the kapha even though all living being are made up of five basic elements the panch mahabhut we see a lot of diversities we can see that no two peoples are alike have you wondered why two peoples are not alike even the identical twins are not similar in all aspects what is it that makes an individual distinct from others the way we are physically the way we behave the way we react to certain conditions that is our nature these are all these all are to a great extent influenced by our constitution we call we can call it biological constitution or genetic constitution according to charak samhita which is the one of the ancient ayurvedic test every organism in is different from another and hence should be considered as a different entity as many variations are there in the universe all are seen in humans 
it means every individual is unique having a different constitution. So, the concept of Prakriti which is based on the Tridosa theory have been described in Ayurveda which emphasizes on the treatment of diseases in highly individualized manner. So, now we are going to discuss about the Prakriti in the Ayurveda. Prakriti is a fundamental construct of Ayurveda which primarily mean a body type or individual nature. Prakriti is the sense of personality or constitution or a temperament of an individual. Prakriti is manifested in the form of physical, psychological, physiological and behavioral traits. It provides the genetic and the epigenetic basis to the human morphological and biological variations. Before proceeding further, we should try to understand why knowledge of Prakriti is important. The importance of Prakriti based medicine lies in the following topics. The Prakriti and the importance of Prakriti based medicines lies in firstly in the promotion of health and quality life, secondly in the prevention of diseases, understanding patient needs and risk factors for chronic conditions. It is also important for the personalized health care, in the management of diseases, reduction in mortality and morbidity, development of new approaches for diagnosis and drug development, it also minimizes the adverse drug reactions. In Ayurveda, prognosis, diagnosis and therapeutics have been described prakriti specific and it have similarities with the modern concept of pharmacogenomics. So, we should understand how this prakriti is formed. The three dosas or the three yamas, the five basic elements, the panch mahabhutas, the three gunas, the psychological qualities that are the sattva, raja and tama exist in every human being. Depending upon their preponderance in the gametes at the time of fertilization and individual's prakriti is determined. The body constitution is fixed at a time of fertilization, generally remains constant throughout the life of the individual. Thus, the prakriti which is the substratum of the universe is in turn related to the biological constitution of a person. Now, we should understand the factors which affect the determination of the prakriti. At a time of conception, prakriti is determined by the predominance of the dosas in the gametes that is that is the gametes are called sukra and sonet in ayurveda during pregnancy the prakriti is influenced by maternal diet and lifestyle by the environment during the fetal development that it is called the uh, matur ahar vihar the kal garbhase mahavut vikars in ayurveda genetic constitution is a cumulative effect of race that is jati prasakta familial predisposition that is called the kul prasakta, demography, then climatic conditions, individual personal habits. Every uh, individual is subjected to a constant interaction with the environment which can affect the person's constitution at any time. The body tries to maintain a dynamic equilibrium with the environment. If the current proportion of our dosas get significantly different from its constitutional proportion, it indicates imbalances which in turn can lead to illnesses. Ayurveda considers mind and body as two aspects of one unity. The psychological and the physiological processes interact with one another and are parallel to each other. Before going to our main topic, let us revise the concept of dosas which is the basis of the prakriti. The dosas indicated by their presence by the functions and the associated properties exist at all the levels from the macroscopic to the cellular level. Just as functions include structures, dosas also encompasses structure entities. This can be inferred from the physical attributes associated with the dosas. The three dosas are constituted of the 
Panchamahabhutas. The properties of space and air are represented as vata in the body. The properties of the fire and water is referred as a pitta properties. And the properties of the water and earth are represented in the body as the kapha. Now we should revise the properties of each dosa which is based on their composition. The properties of the vata dosas are it is dry, cold, light, subtle, mobile, non-slimy and rough in properties. The pitta dosa is slightly unctuous, hot, sharp, liquid, sour, mobile, light and pungent and have uh, pungent smell. The kapha dosa is heavy, cold, soft, unctuous, sweet, stable and slimy in nature. In Ayurvedic text, the characteristics feature of all seven types of physical and the three types of mental constitution have been explained. But only three main types of prakriti that is the vata predominant, pitta predominant and kapha predominant constitution are usually taken for examination of a person or patient. Now we are going to discuss about the classification of prakriti. Human constitution can be broadly classified into two types that is a physical or, or the deh or doses prakriti. Second is a mental or the manas prakriti. The human constitution is divided into seven types on the basis of relative preponderance of the three basic humus that is the vata, pitta and kapha. And the seven types of prakritis are vata, Pitta, Kapha, then Vata Pitta, Vata Kapha, Kapha Pitta and Sam Prakriti, the Sannipatas Prakriti. This inherent predominance of dosa imparts a person with peculiar physical, physiological and anatomical features. Three broad types of mental constitution that are the Sattvic, Rajasic and Tamasic pra Prakriti have been described. Now we are going to discuss the features of different Prakriti. Based on the characters of dosa, the phenotypes of three contrasting constitution, the dosa prakriti have been described here separately. First, we are going to discuss the features of the vatas prakriti. Due to the qualities of the vata, the vat prakriti individuals have the following features. Firstly, due to uh, roughness property of the vata, the uh, vat prakriti individuals have underdeveloped and short body, rough voice, weak, they are weak, low, pathetic in appearance, hoarse and obstructed and uh, they have uh, less see sleep. The lightness property is responsible for light and unsteadiness in movement, activities, diet and speech. Due to mobility property, the, uh, the these individuals uh, have unstable joints, eyebrows, jaw, lips, tongue, head, shoulder, hand and fib. They are talkative in nature and have abundance of tendons and veins that are superficial to the skin. Due to swiftness property, they are quick in initiating actions. They have quick irritations and disorders. They are quick in, fee, fee, uh, and quick in fear. Then uh, early attachment and dis uh, attachment, disattachment. Their uh, understanding is quick but with poor memory or retention power. Due to coldness property, these individuals have intolerance to cold, get in inflicted, afflicted with severing and stiffness on exposure to cold. Due to non-slimy nature of the vata, these individuals have cracked body parts and constant sound in joint during the movement. Because of the presence of these qualities, the individuals having predominance of vata has mostly low degree of strength, lifespan, progeny and wealth. Now we are going to discuss the features of the Pitta's Prakriti based on the properties of the Pitta. Due to hotness property of Pitta, the pathic individuals have intolerance to heat, having hot face, delicate and fair organ, plenty of moles, freckles, black moles and pimples, excessive hunger and thirst, early appearance of wrinkles, graying and falling of hairs. Due to sharpness property of pitta, 
दिस इंडिविजुअल्स हैव साफ प्रोवेस इंटेंस फायर दैट इज डायजेस्टिव पावर इज हाई गुड डायजेस्टिव पावर इज गुड टेकिंग प्लेंटी ऑफ फूड एंड ड्रिंक लैक ऑफ इंडोरेंस दे हैव फ्रीक्वेंट ईटिंग हैबिट्स ड्यू टू लिक्विडिटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पित्त पैथिक इंडिविजुअल्स हैव लैक्स एंड सॉफ्ट जॉइंट एंड मसल्स एक्सेसिव एक्सक्रेशन ऑफ स्वेट यूरिन एंड फीसेस ड्यू टू फ्रेसी स्मेल ऑफ पित्त दिस इंडिविजुअल्स हैव फ्रेसी स्मेल इन एक्जुला माउथ हैड एंड बॉडी ड्यू टू पंजेंट एंड सावर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पित्त द पैथिक इंडिविजुअल्स हैव लिटिल सिमेन सेक्सुअल एक्ट एंड फ्री प्रोजेनी बेस्ड because of the uh, presence of these qualities the individuals having predominance of pitta are of moderate in strength life span knowledge understanding wealth and means hence this prakriti is a moderate type now we are going to discuss the features of the kapha's prakriti due to the qualities of kapha kapha prakriti individuals have the following properties due to unctus property of kapha these individuals have untus organ the soft property they are attractive have tender skin organ and musculature the sweet in property the uh, individuals have abundant semen potency and more progenies due to nature of the essence the individuals have strong sturdy body and organs due to solidity they have the well formed and the fully developed body due to dull in nature of the kapha these peoples have slow in their eating in behavior and working due to rigid property the kapha individuals do not have hasty steps in their work and will not get disheartened easily due to heavy property of kapha the individuals have firm and strong in their the individuals are firm and strong in their movements the cold property of the kapha is responsible for the less hunger thirst heat and perspiration due to sliminess the individuals have compact and strong joints and ligaments due to these best qualities the kapha prakriti individuals are blessed with the best strength wealth education vitality immunity long uh, longevity and they are of peaceful nature therefore this prakriti is placed as a best prakriti now we are going to discuss how we can assess the prakriti of the individuals in classical ayurvedic texts guidelines for prakriti assessment have been described elaborately most people are having combination of two do- doshas that, that is they are having the dvandash prakriti they possess characteristics of both doshas that are dominant a balanced constitution is ideal having the three doshas in balanced state and but it is extremely rare in which the balanced state of all the three doshas are present the key distinguishing features of single vata pitta and kapha prakriti are described here first let us start with the anatomical features distinguishing um, anatomical features of the three distinct, distinct prakriti first let us start with the anatomical features in these three distinct prakriti individual first is the uh, body build the vata prakriti individuals have thin lean slender underdeveloped long or short body they have a disproportionate luxury led body with the prominent veins and tendons while the pit prakriti individuals are good looking and has the delicately shaped the kapha uh, prakriti individuals are have well formed proportionate compact glossy body with stable movement and majestic gait second is the joint the vata prakriti individuals have unstable stiff joint with cracking sound while the pitta prakriti individuals have soft and loose joints muscles and limbs while the kapha prakriti have the strong well hidden joints going to the body organs the firstly the vata individual have short or less or thin cracked stiff 
dry, rough organs, while the Pritaj Prakriti have the coppery nails, eyes, palate, tongue, lips, palm, and soul. While the Kapha Prakriti individuals have compact, firm, and full grown organs, long arms, big and elevated chest, wide forehead. The skin. Vatas Prakriti individuals have dry, rough, cracked and cold skin with a dark brownish, black, grey or dusky complexion. While the Pittas Prakriti individuals have warm, soft, delicate, sensitive skin with freckles and moles. They have the wrinkled skin with fair, reddish, yellowish or pinkish complexion. The Kafas Prakriti individuals have the smooth, moist, cold, non-wrinkled or glossy, oily skin with a uh, light, clear and whitish complexion. The hairs of the water Prakriti individuals are thin, scanty and they have the less hairs. That is, and the hairs are dry, rough, cracked with the split ends. While the Pittas Prakriti individuals have the thin, fine, oily, blonde or a red red color hairs. They are more prone to for early graying. The Kafaj individuals have the thick, glossy, firmly rooted or wavy hairs and they are bee black in color. The uh, eyes of the Vatas Prakriti individuals are dry, unsteady and blinking while with the Pittas Prakriti they are the sharp and the penetrating with a blonde or copper eyelashes, eyes easily becomes red and desirous of cold. The covered individuals have the large, attractive and full with thick eyelashes. They have uh, moist and pleasant eyes. The lips of the white Vatas Prakriti individuals are dark, dry, cracked. While of Pittaj Prakritis are soft, pink, and copper colored. In the Kafaj individuals, the lips are full, thick, moist, and oily. The teeth of Vatas individuals are small, crooked, easily cracked. While of Pittal Prakriti, Pittaj Prakriti is modest, dry, size, and they are yellowish in tinge. The Kafaj individuals have the strong, large, and white teeth. Now we are going to the physiological features of the, of the three Prakritis. Firstly, we will start with the appetite. Appetite for food and digestion in the Vatas Prakriti individuals are inconsistent and it varies from the strong and weak. In the Pittas individuals, they have the intense appetite and they cannot skip the meals. While the Pakafaj individuals have weak and slow digestion, so they can skip the meals. In the uh, dietary habit, the Vatas individuals ha it, it have diet um, second with the diet habits the water individuals have irregular diet habits and like they like unctuous hot sweet sour and salty foods um, while the bitter individuals eat too often and too much and they like the sweet bitter astringent and cold food and drinks the kafaj individuals have regular eating habits and they like slow they like slow food intake they like mainly, mainly the sweet foods. The, the taste desired by the Pahatas individuals are sweet, salt and sour while with the Pittas Prakriti individuals like sweet, bitter and astringent while the Kafaj individuals like pungent, astringent and bitter taste. Thirst, um, the thirst and the perspiration of the Pahatas individuals are variable while it is uh, excessive and intense in the Pittas, in, in, uh, Pittas individuals while the Kafaj individuals have very less thirst and perspiration. The bowel habit is usually constipated in the Pahatas individuals while the Pittas uh, individuals have loose stool. In contrast, the Kafaj individuals have normal steady evacuation of bowel. The vigor of the Vatas individual is less, they have lesser quantity of strength and procreation. While in the Pitaj individuals, there is insufficiency of semen, sexual desire and procreation. While the Kafaj individuals have great vigor, sexual prowess, desire and tastes, more of semen, children and attendants. 
the sleep that is amount and the quality of the sleep it is usually interrupted and less in the watch individual and the such individuals have shallow sleep with sleeping habit having the eyes half open during the sleep the pitta individuals have moderate moderate uh, amount take moderate amount of sleep and they are usually sound while the kapha individuals do have excessive and deep sleep body or order of the watha individuals is mild or variable while it is intense and strong in the pitta individuals while the kapha individuals have very less body order the physical activity and movements it is very quick with a swift uh, very quick with a swift movement in the watha individuals while it is moderate in the pitta individual the kapha individuals have slow and steady gait and activities the voice is usually low and hoarse in the watha individuals while it is high pitch and commanding in pitta individuals the kapha prakriti peoples have the pleasant voice tolerance for seasonal variations the watha prakriti individuals are intolerant to the cold climate while the pitta individuals are intolerant to the hot climate in contrast to to these two the kapha individuals are not much bothered by the two climates the weight gain is very difficult in the watha individuals so they are very lean and thin and it is uh, moderate in the pitta individual and they uh, gain and lose the weight easily while the kapha individuals have tendency to the obesity the body temperature is usually low or variable in the watha individual it is high in the pitta individuals that's why they have the higher bmr and they in the uh, kapha individuals the body temperature is skin the uh, usual the body uh, surface body temperature is the low in the kapha individuals and they at uh, usually tend to have the low um, lower bmr the aging is a very fast process in the watha um, individual it is and it is moderate in kapha individual by the kapha uh, sorry aging is very fast in the watha individual while it is moderate in the pitta individuals while the kapha prakriti individuals have the very slow aging process now we are going to discuss about the higher mental functions in different prakriti individuals first we are going to discuss about the initiation capabilities the watha prakriti individuals are quick responsive and enthusiastic while uh, the pitta individuals are moderate and upon conviction and, and understanding they are moderate in the initiation capabilities and they usually start uh, after uh, conviction and understanding the kapha individuals are slow to initiate new things and the watha prakriti individuals have more talkative in nature while the pitta individuals have authoritative contending debater in contrast to these two the kapha individuals are calm and quiet now uh, going to the next next uh, uh, point that is the memory in watha uh, individuals they are very quick at grasping but the retention power is very poor while it, in the pitta prakriti they are moderate in grasping and retention also while in kapha individuals they are very slow in grasping but once they grasp they have the good retention power now we are going to discuss the disease susceptibility and prognosis in different prakriti individual this is first with the disease tendency the watha individual catches catches disease very easily while the uh, pitta individuals have moderate resistance to diseases and uh, while the watha kapha individuals have the good resistance towards diseases that's why the watha individuals have higher disease susceptibility while the uh, pitta prakriti are moderate in disease susceptibility and the kapha individuals have lower disease susceptibility now the disease predisposition disease predis um, disease predisposition or the poor prognosis 
the vatas individuals are more prone, prone to developmental neurological movement and speech disorder and they are also prone for the arrhythmias in the pitta's individuals the pitta's individuals are more prone for gastric ulcer bleeding disorder skin diseases while the kafas individuals are more prone for the obesity diabetes atherosclerosis coronary artery diseases etc till now we have discussed the various features of the dosas prakriti now we are going to discuss about the features of the manas prakriti or temperament the profounder of ayurveda have clearly recognized the distinction in human temperament and individual differences in psychological and moral disposition his reaction to socio cultural and physical environment the study of human personality in classical ayurvedic literature is nearly dependent upon darshan sankhya concept of personality trigunas that are the sattva raja and tama are the three potentialities which express themselves only when in imbalanced state types of sattvas and their individuality are as follows sattva is of three types based on the trigunas first is a satvik second is a rasik and third is a tamas among trigunas satvik is without any defect due to more portion of welfareness it is pure and fine and responsible for goodness and happiness rajas is rajas is with defect due to more portion of anger and it is responsible for all the activities in the body tamas is also with the defect due to more portion of ignorance it is solid and resist activity it produces state of apathy now we are going to discuss the types of manas prakriti individual temperament can be explained as a trio of sattva raja and tama due to the interplay of these three gunas the person differ in their affective and cognitive aspects human temperament have been divided into three major groups satvik rasik and tama with a relative preponderance of sattva raj and tama characteristics in their psyche these three major temperament groups are again subdivided into subgroups that is the seven types of satvik prakriti six types of rasik prakriti and three types of tamasik prakriti comprehensively now we are going to discuss the characteristic of satvik temperament it includes compa- companion tendency to proper distribution forgiveness truthfulness righteousness faith knowledge intellect retentive faculty of mind memory restraint and non attachment the characteristics of classic temperament are the most the mostly these individuals are, are have unhappiness roaming about they have impatient they have ego falsehood cruelty fraudulence naughtiness exhilaration they have a uh, more anger in the last now we are going to discuss the characteristics of the tamasic temperament it includes the sadness tendency to unrightedness blocking of intellect ignorance wickedness inactivity and sleepiness these all are the qualities of tamas prakriti now proceeding further we are going to discuss the applied aspect of the prakriti prakriti has leading importance in both the uh, both healthy and the diseased person importance of prakriti lies in prescribing dietary regimen and lifestyle management in healthy individuals of different prakriti knowing one's prakriti hold the key to health wellness and longevity implication of prakriti assessment can be understood under the following headings first is the role of prakriti in preventive and promotive health care and maintenance of health 
we can assess status of health such as strength, physical and the mental, appetite, adaptability, compactness of body, etc. on the basis of one's prakriti. Prakriti helps in analyzing and observing dietary habits, lifestyle, daily and the seasonal regimen that are suitable according to the individual. By adopting the healthy dietary had habits, by adopting the healthy dietary habits and healthy lifestyle in the reference of the Dincharyas and the Ritucharya, we can prevent various disorders and proper health can be promoted. And the objective of health promotion and prevention of disease is the is achieved by both prakriti based medicine and personalized medicine. Such a diet or behavior should be avoided that vitiate the dosas and should adopt the one which mitigates the imbalanced dosas so that their equilibrium is maintained in the body and we can achieve a proper health. Based on the composition of water, the, um, the property is like light, quick, dry, rough, cold, subtle, coarse, moving that aggravates the vata while the um, oily, heavy and hot qualities mitigates the vata. By following the basic guidelines, we can prevent various disorders and health can be restored. Yoga and pranayam helps in attaining sound mental health also. Now we are going to discuss about the prakriti and the dietary habits. As per the Ayurveda, the appropriate quantity of diet for an individual is the one which when taken does not harm the prakriti of the individual and it get digested with due time. The quantity of diet that should be taken depends upon the digestive power of the individual. It is called Agni in Ayurveda. The Agni depends upon the constitution of the individual. Some Prakriti individual has some Agni that is the regular Agni. In Vata individual, digestion power is irregular as they have irregular Agni which is called a Bismagni in Ayurveda. Less quantity of diet is required to be given to such individual and it should be given frequently. Pitta individuals have a soft digestive power that is a tikshangri which digest all types of diet hence more quantity and heavy diet is required to be given to such individuals. The kapha individuals have slow digestive power that is a mandagni which is not able to digest all types of diet. Hence, light and lesser amount of diet should be given to such individuals. Now, we are going to discuss about the prakriti and the disease susceptibility relationship. The persons having balanced constitution, that is the sama prakriti, have good resistance and generally they are not prone to diseases. Other types of uh, prakriti are labeled as a atura, that is the diseased prakriti, as they have dominance of one or more dosas and need regular preventive measures. Out of the rest six types, prakriti with the one dosa have better resistance than the two prakriti. Vata, pitta and kapha prakriti are susceptible to disease in the decreasing order. Now we are going to discuss about the application of the prakriti and in the disease susceptibility. The Persons having balanced constitution, that is the sum prakriti, have good resistance towards diseases and they are generally not prone to diseases. Other types of prakriti are the, uh, they are labeled as other prakriti or diseased as they have dominance of one or more dosas and need regular preventive measures. Vata, pitta and kapha prakriti are susceptible to diseases in decreasing order. If the daily activities, diet, occupation and behavior are not adjusted according to the prakriti, then the constitutional humor get imbalanced and give rise to its characteristics diseases. It is also described in Ayurveda that vata constitution person are more prone to vata diseases like neurological diseases, dementia, movement and the speech disorders, arrhythmias. While the Pritta constitution peoples are more 
prone for the pitta diseases pitta diseases as like uh, ulcers bleeding disorders skin diseases that's why a person should adhere to the traditions and rules regarding the food and the lifestyle according to their body constitution now we are going to discuss the role of prakriti in the diagnosis of the diseases now prakriti is a important diagnostic tool which forms the basis for understanding the pathology extent and combination of vitiated doses and status of hospac factors the role of prakriti in prognosis of diseases prakriti is important for judgment of prognosis of disease prediction of proneness and severity of disease can be speculated which helps in prognosis judgment if nature of disease and prakriti of individual are similar then disease is difficult to manage when the prakriti and the disease are of different origin it is easy to manage and generally carries a good prognosis proceeding further now we are going to discuss the role of prakriti in the therapeutics after considering the prakriti health status of a person is defined and it forms a base of treatment thus if the constitution of an individual is known then the medication diet and other regimen can be advised accordingly both for the disease treatment and to promote longevity the treatment of a disease is highly individualized in ayurveda according to the prakriti types which is based on a theory of tridosha the modalities related to diet lifestyle and medicine have been described which forms the three pillars of prakriti based medicine this unique approach can play a vital role in this changing scenario of global healthcare now we are going to summarize the whole topic prakriti refers to a genetically determined physical and mental constitution of an individual in ayurveda system of healthcare the knowledge of prakriti and the provision to subgroup individuals based on their predominant prakriti is one of its most important and unique speciality the determination of prakriti of constitution the determination of constitution the determination of constitutional type of prakriti of a person is very important tool in the practice of ayurveda it not only help us to understand the mental and the physical nature of a person in the healthy state but also help us to know the susceptibility to diseases which assist in the promotion of the health as well as it helps in the prevention and treatment of diseases thus we can conclude that knowledge of prakriti is a key to health harmony happiness and ultimately our true well being thank you